So now that we've covered how to properly track your Google My Business calls, we're gonna show you how to properly track calls to your website. This is one of the most common mistakes I see from both contractors and marketing companies alike. So we're gonna take a dive into this. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do so you can properly track your website leads and that way you can attribute revenue to your marketing company or to the efforts that your internal marketing person is doing. So stay tuned and we're gonna get right into it. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh, founder of Relentless Digital, a digital marketing company focused specifically on home service businesses. Before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as you see on your screen so that way you can be notified of future updates. So first things first, we have to define what is dynamic number insertion. It's also called dynamic number swapping. Dynamic number insertion is where a unique call tracking number is tied to every ad source. And generally how this works with CallRail and other platforms like CallRail, your primary number will be on your website Website, but what will happen is you will install a tracking script code to the back end of your website. Now, this is something that generally speaking, your marketing team will be able to help you. Otherwise, if you have a WordPress site, CallRail has a plugin that you can just install. What this piece of code does is it allows us to analyze the behavior of people that visit your site. What pages did they visit? How long were they on those pages? What was their sequence? It also allows us to understand where they came from. So call tracking script will allow us to see if they from Bing, if they came from Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, Facebook, a different social media platform, Google My Business, uh, if they found you on Google Search. So this really starts diving deeper into where somebody is finding you so you can double up on those marketing efforts that are working. All right, so we're going to show you how dynamic number insertion works. It's also called dynamic call tracking. So up on the top right hand side here in this section, you're going to see a phone number pop up. And then what's going to happen in a blink of an eye, it's going to change to the tracking number. I'm going to show you exactly how this works. If you hopefully you caught that, the number right here ended in 9010, which is the primary phone number for this business. We swapped it out to a call tracking number. It happened very quickly to the point where nobody's really going to notice it unless you are looking for it. So you may be asking yourself, big deal, Josh, who cares? This is why this is so important to have a dynamic number insertion installed on your website. So here you can see this is a perfect example. This client had a lead come in through their website pool, which is generally like four or five numbers, sometimes more if you run a lot of ad campaigns. A program like CallRail, what it's going to allow you to do is understand the journey that person took. So if you scroll down here, you have you can listen to the call, you can see the transcription, and then you go down here and you can kind of follow the trail. You can actually see that they came in through their Google My Business profile first and not the website. The biggest mistake I see is marketing companies will give you a tracking number or they will install a static or essentially a tracking number that does not swap out and attribute everything that that comes to the website as their work and that is just not true you really need to understand where your traffic is coming from so that way the wool doesn't get pulled over your eyes and you can actually understand what your marketing company is or is not doing for your business so in order to set up dynamic number insertion on your website we're going to walk through this real briefly here go into your call tracking system create a number and now it's going to ask you a, a couple questions that you're going to need uh, usually these questions are pretty easy to answer so this we're going to use for our website so we'll put the code on our website. We are going to use this for calls, keywords, and web sessions. So the first phone number is the phone number you want the calls to go to. So here's a pro tip. If you have Service Titan or you have another CRM that allows you to track revenue, I would forward your call tracking numbers to your revenue tracking number. So now you know where people came from and you also can see the revenue produced from that. If you have a platform like House Call Pro, this is not possible. So you're just going to have to put this to your main phone line. Now on the next page, the one thing you want to make sure you're doing you are tracking all visitors now for some reason if this is you're watching this and you're a marketing company you only do google ads you may only want to do google ads or pay-per-click search however if you are a contractor use all visitors as this is the best way for you to understand where that person came from now as far as how many numbers you should get i usually get four or five unless we're running paid ads then we'll get more and the reason for that is you have to understand how much traffic the site gets before you decide how many numbers you want 
The reason for this is if multiple people are on your site at the same time, then you will need to have enough numbers to properly track this. Let's say you have four numbers and you have five people on your site at that time, that fifth one most likely isn't gonna be tracked properly. Make sure you choose local area codes or your number pool. This is some of the other functionality that a call tracking system can do. You can either put a whisper message in. Now a whisper message is something that comes into your call taker's ear. What will happen is you can say, call from Google, call from Relentless, call from whoever you want to say, just so you can know, be notified of where that call came from so you can track it properly. Call recording, you may need to check your laws just to see if you need to notify someone if a call is being recorded. You go ahead and activate and you are ready. Next, I'm gonna show you how to properly add this to a website. All right, now to install your tracking script code so that we can properly have dynamic number insertion on your website, you would go to installation methods and you can see there are a few methods here. Now, it just depends on what type of website you have set up. If you have the most common, which is WordPress, you can see that there is a plugin for this. However, uh, just in my experience, I would not use the plugin. I would just install the JavaScript as it does work better. The WordPress plugin just has a few kinks that need to be worked out. So all you do is you copy this, you go to your WordPress admin panel and install it on there. And then what you can do is afterwards, you can come back to the same screen, type in your website and hit verify. It's gonna take a couple seconds. And then if you did it right, you'll see a green check mark. There you go. Everything is installed correctly. Make sure you are tracking your website leads properly as this can lead to a really big problem down the line where your marketing company says that they are doing X, Y, and Z for you. And to be perfectly honest, they are not. So make sure if they ever want to put call tracking on your website, it is not a static number. It is dynamic number insertion or dynamic number swapping. Use that method. That way you will have better success and you will better understand what is being done and what and the number of leads that are being brought to your business. If this content was valuable to your business, please like the video, subscribe to the channel down below and hit the bell icon so you can be notified of future updates. Until next time, stay relentless.